this is the second installment of my probably four part videos on area of region bounded by different curves and for this video i will work on problem for region bounded by two or more curves so from my previous videos i have showed you the horizontal and the vertical method of finding the area of region under and between curves so we recall the formula if we take element vertical we use the formula integral of f of x minus g of x dx evaluated from a to b or that is y upper minus y lower dx evaluated from a to b and if you're going to take element horizontal so we use the formula f of y minus g of y dy evaluated from c to d or that is x right equation of the curve on the right side of the region minus equation of the curve on the left side of the region evaluated from the from c to D. So for today's video, I'm going to show you what if the region is bounded by three or more curves. So we're going to work on this problem. The area, the, the region is bounded by the curves x plus 2y equals 2, y minus x equals 1, and 2x plus y equals 7. So again, on my previous video, I showed you some easy step on how to solve problems. Again, we recall this step and to trace the curve, we're going to use the we're going to solve for the points of intersection and then after which we're going to identify the region and then we decide what element are we going to take based on the given region and uh, we set up the equation and then integrate and solve the area okay so for this particular problem uh, we will start by getting the point of intersection and i will mark x plus 2y equals 2 to be equation 1 y minus x equals 1 to be equation 2 and 2x plus y equals 7 to be equation 3, okay? And then for equation 1 and 2, you can, <clears throat> this system of linear equation can be solved in many ways, e either by substitution, simultaneous equation, or by elimination, or any algebraic processes, processes that you can still remember. So this time, I will be using elimination. So for equation 1 and 2, so that's x plus 2, y equals 2, and then y minus x equals 1. I write it of the form negative x plus y equals 1 so that the similar variables are aligned together. <clears throat> and if I wish to eliminate x, so this is x and this is negative x, I will just add these two equations, leading me with uh, x plus negative x equals 0, and then 2y plus y equals 3y, and then 2 plus 1 equals 3, and that gives me y equals 1. If y equals 1, and then x equals 0. So you just replace, you choose between these two equations and you replace y. Say if you use this equation and you replace y by 1, so this is 2 times 1, and then you throw this on the other side and that will give you 0. So that's x equals 0. For equation 1, 1 and 3, so that is x plus 2y equals 2, 2x two plus y equals 7. And if you want to eliminate x, Okay, so remember this is 2x and this is x alone. So you need to multiply equation 1 by 2. Okay, so that will become 2 times x, that's 2x, then plus 4y equals 4. And since the coefficient for x are now similar, both are 2, and then we can now subtract the equation. So that will become 2x minus 2x, that's 0. Then 2 times 2y, that's 4y, minus y, that will give you 3y. <clears throat> then 2 times 2, that's 4 minus 7, that's negative 3, leading you with y equals negative 1. Again, you do the same thing. You choose between equation 1 and 3, and then you replace y by negative 1, and that will give you x equals 4. And finally, for equation 2 and 3, <clears throat> that's negative x plus y equals 1, and 2x plus y equals 7. So we wish to eliminate y because both y have similar coefficients, and then we subtract uh equation two and three so we will have negative x minus two x that is negative three x and then y minus y will become zero and one minus seven is negative six and that will have we will have negative three x equals negative six and x equals two if x equals two you choose between these two equation and then you replace x by two and that will give you y equals three so the points of intersection are zero one Four, negative 1, and 2, 3. Okay, remember that equation 1 will pass through the points 0, 1, 0, 1, and 4, negative 1. Equation 2 will pass through the points 0, 1, 
and 2, 3. And equation 3 will pass through the point, points for negative 1 and 2, 3. So we set up our uh, equations. Again, we'll call this uh, points of intersection. And then we set it up again. Uh, equation 1, x plus 2y equals 2 will pass through 0, 1 for negative 1. And y minus x equals 1 will pass through the point 0, 1, 2, 3. And 2x plus y equal, equals 7 will pass through the points for negative 1 and 2, 3. Okay, this is 0, 1 for negative 1. And we have 2, 3 here. Again, equation 1 will pass through the points 0, 1 and 4, negative 1. Equation 2 will pass through the point 0, 1 and 2, 3. And then equation 3 will pass through the points 2, 3 and 4, negative 1. So the region is bounded between equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3. And then we choose our element. So if we want to use vertical element, okay, so the first element here is touch above by y minus x equals 1 and below by the line x plus 2y equals 2. But as we move forward here, we will notice that the boundaries above will change from y minus x equals 1 to 2x plus y equals 7 and the same boundaries below the region. So we have 2x plus y equals 7 and x plus 2y equals 2. So we will now have two subregions here, uh, region 1, A1, which is uh, bounded by x equals 0 on the leftmost portion and x equals 2 on the rightmost portion. Whereas the second region, the second subregion is bounded by x equals 2 on the leftmost and x equals 4 on the rightmost portion. So that gives us uh the total area be equal to a sub 1 plus a sub 2. So what if we choose horizontal rectangular element? Okay, so we divide the region by using horizontal element. So this is the first element and the element is bounded on the right side by 2x plus y equals 7 and on the left side by x plus 2y equals 2. However, when you reach this point of the region, the region now is bounded by 2x plus y equals 7 and the leftmost portion of the region is bounded by y minus x equals 1. And that again gives us uh, our region to be divided into two subregions. A1, which is bounded by y equals negative 1, y equals 1 above, and uh, the region 2, A2, bounded by y equals 1 below and y equals 3 above. So... The total area is again given by a sub 1 plus a sub 2. So to recall our method, this is done by vertical rectangular element and this is done by horizontal rectangular element. As you can notice, both elements allow us to divide our region into two subregions and the, air, a, a, the total area is the sum of the areas of the two subregions. So we decide what element are we going to use. So this time I'll be using vertical elements. Okay. So again, this is your A1 and this is your A2. A1 is bounded above by y minus x equals 1 and below by x plus 2y equals 2. And the second region or A2 is bounded above by 2x plus y equals 7 and the same x plus 2y equals 2 below the region, okay? So for A1, okay, this is our first region. The element chosen is vertical. So we have y minus x equals 1. The equation should be y equals x plus 1 because on my previous video, when we use element vertical, equation of the curve should be y in terms of x. So we need to rewrite all these three equations uh, y in terms of x. So for y minus x equals 1, that is written as y equals x plus 1. And below the region that is bounded by x plus 2, y equals 2, which can be rewritten as y equals 1 minus 1 half x. And the region is bounded on the leftmost by x equals 0. And on the rightmost portion of the region is x equals 2. So by following this formula, area is equal to the integral of f of x minus g of x dx evaluated from a to b. So we have 
the rightmost portion minus the leftmost portion. And then the leftmost portion is the equation x plus 1 minus the left, sorry, the rightmost portion of the region is the equation x plus 1. And then the leftmost portion of the region is the equation 1 minus 1 half x. And then we simplify further x plus 1 minus the quantity 1 minus 1 half x is just equal to 3 halves x dx evaluated from 0 to 2, from 0 to 2. And then simplifying further, you have 3 halves times the integral of x dx evaluated from 0 to 2. And then that allows us to have 3 fourth x squared evaluated from 0 to 2. Evaluating the limit, so we just replace x by 2. So that's 3 fourth 2 squared minus 3 fourth times 0 is square. And then this will become 0. And then the only thing left is equal to 3. So the area of the first region is equal to 3 square units. And then we work for the second region. For A2, the element chosen is bounded above by 2x plus y equals 7 and bounded below by x plus 2y equals 2. So we have... Uh, 2x plus y equals 7 should be expressed as y equals 7 minus 2x. And x plus 2y equals 2 should be expressed as y equals 1 minus 1 half x. And the region is now bounded on the leftmost by x equals 2 and on the rightmost by x equals 4. And then again, by using the same formula, the area is equal to the integral of f of x minus g of x dx evaluated from a to b or that's y upper y upper minus y lower dx evaluated from a to b. f of x is represented by 7, mi 7 minus 2x, that's the equation above, and g of x is represented by 1 minus 1 half x, that's the equation below the region. Okay, so we have 7 minus 2x minus the quantity 1 minus x over 2, or that's 1 half x dx, and then simplifying, you have 7 minus 1, that's x, then negative 2x minus negative x over 2 is negative 3 halves x. And then integrating, the limit is evaluated from 2 to 4. And then integrating, we have the integral of 6 dx is 6x, and the integral of 3 half x dx is 3 part x squared, and the limit is evaluated from 2 to 4. So uh, replacing x by 4, so you get 6 times 4, that's minus 3 fourth times 4 square minus replace x by 2. So that's 6 times 2 minus 3 fourth times 2 square. And that leads us to 6 times 4 is 24. 3 fourth times 4 square. This is 16 divided by 4 is 4 times 3. That's 12 minus 6 times 2 is 12. And then 2 to square is 4 divided by 4 times 3. That's still equal to 3. So we have 24 minus 12 is 12, and 12 minus 3 is 9, leading us with 3 square units. So meaning the area of the second region is still equal to 3, is equal to 3 square units. Then we go back with our first region, whose area is equal to 3 square units. The second region, the area is also equal to 3 square units. And then adding these two, you get the total area of the region bounded by the three curves, which is equal to six square units. So for horizontal rectangular element, I will set it up for you. And after watching this video, you can work on the same problem, but this time you're going to use the horizontal rectangular element. So again, by applying the horizontal rectangular element, the total area is still equal to A1 plus A2. And then for A1, so the, the element is bounded on the right side by 2x plus y equals 7 and on the left side by x plus 2y equals 2. And then we express our <clears throat> equation x in terms of x. So 2x plus y equals 7 is written as 7 minus y over 2. And then 2x plus 2y equals 2 can be expressed as x equals 2 minus 2y. And the region is bounded on the... Bottom portion, y equals negative 1, and on the topmost portion is y equals 1. So following the formula, this is x right minus x left, okay? f of y minus g of y dy. So that's, again, it's x right equation of the curve on the right side of the region minus equation of the curve on the left side of the region. So the right side is 7 minus y over 2, 
And then the left side is 2 minus 2y. Evaluated from negative 1 to 1. Okay? For A2, the element is bounded on the right by 2x plus y equals 7, expressed as x equals 7 minus y over 2. And on the left side is y minus x equals 1, written as y minus 1. And then uh, the region is between two horizontal lines, y equals 1 and y equals 3. So we set it up again by using the same formula, x right minus x left. x right, that's 7 minus y over 2. And then x left, that's y minus 1 dy evaluated from 1 to 3. So after watching this video, you can uh, solve these integrals and that will lead you to the same uh, area, a1 plus a2, which is equal to 6 square units. So again, that's it for now and you keep on tuning in for more updated videos on the same topic.